So Matthew McConaughey, he's in the press right now uh, because he went to the White House with the uh, new press secretary. I always have to get used to saying that name, the Jean-Pierre. Jean-Pierre? Because she doesn't look like a Jean-Pierre. I agree. You wouldn't expect it. No. I don't know if that's a TV name, if that's a press secretary name. Mm. Looks more like a Clouseau. Right. Yeah, exactly. I go with more <laughs> of that. She walks up and... Dun -dun, dun -dun, dun -dun, dun -dun, dun -dun. She's full of shit. Yeah, because he's inept. <laughs> so um, he was there to jump on the lie, and I'll get to that uh, at the end, the lie of this, uh, you know, this mass shooting epidemic. But uh, here he was talking about his hometown when he's not claiming his hometown is Austin. And I get that he, he's likable, and I get that a lot of people think that he's down the middle because he's been on the podcast, and I know that he's very, he, he was very respectful with Jordan Peterson, and I think Russell Brand. I, I understand he's made the rounds, but I also know his past. I also know his history, and I also know to read between the lines as to what he's suggesting here. So this is McConaughey, don't be fooled, talking about Uvalde and trying to present it as common sense, common ground gun reform. You know what every one of these parents wanted, what they asked us for? What every parent separately expressed in their own way to Camilla and me? That they want their children's dreams to live on. That they want their children's dreams to continue to accomplish something after they are gone. They want to make their loss of life matter. So do Families we. of the deceased, mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, Texas Rangers, hunters, Border Patrol, and responsible gun owners who won't give up their Second Amendment right to bear arms. And you know what they all said? We want secure and safe schools, and we want gun laws that won't make it so easy for the bad guys to get these damn guns. Well, that's a lot of saying something with saying nothing. Now, here's the thing. We're going to get into his proposals, which a lot of people, unfortunately, I've seen some folks on the right say, well, you know what? I think this might be uh, sensible. Okay. It is a Trojan horse. Let me explain to you exactly why. Let me show you exactly why, because we'll get to what he's proposing now. But here he is, less than four years ago, with the March for Our Lives, the David Hogg crap, after the Parkland shooting, telling you exactly where he actually lines up and what he wants. Sort of the Beta O'Rourke syndrome. Again, I stated in the March for Our Lives mission statement, how do we do this? They've got three hallmarks here. One, let's ban the assault weapons for civilians. Strike one. And two, we have friends out there that are responsible. Owners of these recreational, or these assault weapons that they use for recreation, please, man, let us take one for the team here and set it down. No. Number two. Let's you set it down, you will. On the magazines. I mean, look here. In the state of Texas, High capacity magazine, strike two. Three shell limit to hunt migratory birds. Do the math and get my point. Yeah. The third one. Let's better regulate the background checks that are already in place. Yes. And close the loopholes that exist in those background checks. Now. Okay, so here's the thing. I just tend to think he's not that educated. I don't want to say not that bright, but now people want to want to champion him. Have you seen him? He was on, I think it was on with Jordan Peterson. He's going, you know, we have people in this country, they're, they're on the extreme right or they're on the extreme left and all I see are dead armadillos. And I got a wide open land. You're like, no, you're just, <laughs> what does that mean? Don't so right there know. he said, ban assault weapons. Well, that's not a term that's defined. Okay, that's a Trojan horse. Magazine capacity ban. Well, the firearms that are here in this studio, boom, gone, banned. And yeah. then he shows, a. this is only four years ago, that he has a complete lack of understanding of the Second Amendment. In comparing it to shells permitted for hunting migratory birds, the Second Amendment is not about hunting. That could not be less relevant. Well, let me ask you, are you saying that we should limit it to that same amount of shells for home defense? No, I'm not. Okay, then what's the limit? The point is you're picking an arbitrary number, and once you pick that arbitrary number, it can be redistricted, something you guys complain about, right? So it shows he doesn't understand the Second Amendment, which is why when you look at these proposals, he may not know that these new ones are violations of your Second Amendment rights and that they are merely Trojan horses to give government control. Hey, why would you need an assault weapon? I don't know. Maybe because uh, three months from now, I might have to fight for gas in a Ma Mad Max wasteland. <laughs> yeah. 
Maybe somebody's going to come to my house armed and try to kill me because I have an opinion about abortion that they don't like. I don't know. Maybe the story we just covered. Right. Or maybe three months. Good for you. Yeah, you yeah. Make it that long. <laughs> maybe figuratively, not physically, but maybe figuratively, if I'm at another Jimmy Carter gas line and AR-15 fired into the air a couple times can speed things along a little bit. My point is, it's none of your business. Figuratively. Yeah. Now, here he is. So you saw that. That's four years ago. That seems pretty cut and dry. Here he is today proposing common sense gun reform, which is effectively the same thing as what he proposed four years ago. We need to invest in mental health care. We need to save for schools. We Sounds need to great. Restrain sensationalized media coverage. G we need to restore our family values. Okay. We need we're to restore to our American values. He thinks that's a win. And we need responsible gun ownership. And we need to restore moving your head like a parakeet. <laughs> what is that? That's him pausing a for weird. applause. Yeah. yeah. He does look like Peter it. Fonda and a bird. Yes, he Doesn't does. He? <laughs> it's a weird. And I, I like him till just now. <laughs> I Hold on. Read, American I values. Book. I agree with that. Yeah, defi but define those. American right. values, responsible gun ownership. That doesn't mean giving up your rights. American values, the Second Amendment is a part of that. Yeah, it's, it's amendment number into the cake. It's amendment number two to protect amendment number one, which yes. allows you to express yourself as an idiot. Watch Louder with Crowder live Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern.